My special guest today is sitting with me in Wales, Richard Fiddis. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Good to have you, given that you're going places, uh, and places means going to India out of Wales, and I've come here from India to Wales. How are things uh, shaping for you? Very well, and I'm spending a lot of my time in India at the moment, as well as experiencing this sort of weather in the UK. <laughs> Can't deny that there is um, always a weather issue when it comes to the UK. As they say that, uh, you know, just like uh, the rains, golf isn't quite a fair weather friend, which is quite the case here for the two of us because it's kind of dull and boring out here. But that said, there's always um, sunshine in the mind and that's why we're here. So what makes, makes you excited about uh, India at this stage? Well, I've been going over to India now for about three and a half years. Uh, pretty well once a month, sometimes twice a month as we've started our business up and we started from ground zero and now we're growing our business very strongly. Um, it's an exciting time for us because we're looking at India as an opportunity as well as a great place for us to try new things. So India I think will give us an opportunity to do some new things as well as to give us an opportunity to bring what we've done in other places into India. Sure, but Experian, that's the company that uh, you represent. Tell us a little bit about the firm, how it started, uh, financial sector representation. Okay, well we've been um, providing credit information and storing credit information for about 20 years and we're very well established in the UK which is the market that I ran for a long period in Experian yeah. and then uh, we grew um, and we bought a very large credit pro provider in America and, um, and then that really started our global ambitions. Ever since then we've been going strongly outside of both the US and the UK mm -hmm. and we now run in 60 countries and we run 16 credit bureaus around the world. As you can see, we're at the Golf Academy. It's time for us to warm up a little bit because if we want to sort of get through uh, this rain and cold, we certainly need that little extra warm up right here. In conversation with Richard Fiddis after a short warm-up, as, as you try and warm up to the markets uh, such as emerging markets like India, yeah. how are things shaping up in terms of the post-crisis scenario? Has it been easy to sort of build up the business or harder? Well, I think Experian is uh, pretty unique in being able to have grown throughout the, the credit crisis. So although we are obviously working with the financial services sector, despite the problems, we've been able to grow the business throughout. In the emerging markets, we've demonstrated some very good growth. And uh, one of our main markets is Brazil, and that's been growing at 17% recently. Wow. So it's fantastic growth. What, what, does India match up to Brazil's uh, speed? Well, India, I'm sure, will, is, is currently growing very well because we're starting from a small base. But um, I think over time, India will, will be a significant business for Experian. When you look at this, the fact that uh, you've been golfing here for so long, uh, do you actually end up seeing some Indian businessmen? Do you talk about India with some of your British friends? Uh, is India hot uh, even now? Very, very definitely. India is one of those um, must-go places right now in the globe. And, uh, you know, that was one of the things after running the UK business, which is our most mature market, to go to our least mature market and start the business up has been incredibly exciting. Yeah. And then I talk a lot to the Indian businessmen that travel to the UK, and there's always been a strong link between the UK and, the, and India. And as a result, they come back from the UK saying, we'd like to see you doing some of the things you do in the UK in India for us. Oh, wow. That's, that's interesting. Great for us. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. But we're also going to talk about uh, how long can India remain that hot a market. That's something we'll talk about. We'll be a little bit of a devil's advocate on the course.
well it's raining here or as richard said some time back well it rains here but it, in in mumbai it's not raining cats and dogs but raining elephants so we still are better off we're going to play in the rain that's the way they all do it here It's kind of wet. Are we going to now tee off from right here? <laughs> 